Hello everybody and welcome to the new MA tips. Today I would like to show you a bit about the park function we have since version 1.1 in GrandMA 3. With the park function we can park fixtures and attributes to a specific value. That makes sure that they cannot be overwritten by the programmer or by any sequence. Let's have a look at this in detail. First of all, let's have a look how we can get the park command. We can press the pause key twice to get the park command. And we can press the go plus button twice to get the unpark command, so to unpark fixtures or attributes again. So let's press the pause key twice. You see the park command. And then we select some fixtures directly in the fixture sheet. You can see that these fixtures get a blue marker at their name and at all the attributes. This means all the attributes of the fixtures I selected after having the park command in the command line are parked now. They cannot be overwritten by the programmer or a sequence. You can see it in the sequence over here, so the next queue should turn off all the moving lights, but as you can see, the four moving lights in the middle, which is exactly this selection, they stay on because they are parked. You can also combine the park command together with a group. So if you want to park a group, then press the pause key twice again to get park and then select the group which you want to park. Furthermore, you can combine this with the if key. So you know the if key in the command section at the numeric keypad. You can use the if key to park specific feature groups or attributes. So if you want to park only the dimmer value, for example, you can say park some fixtures if dimmer and then you will only park the dimmer value. Please keep in mind, at the end we are always parking DMX channels directly. So what you can also do is to interact with the park command in the DMX sheet. So we open up a DMX sheet, you can see our DMX channels here and we give the park command and we select some channels directly in the DMX sheet. You can see the blue marker as well and you know that the DMX channels are parked at this value of zero now. To unpark everything, you can just use the command unpark through. Then you can see my moving lights as well as the DMX channels are unparked again. So the park command definitely helps you when you want to make sure that some lights are staying at a specific value and they are not overwritten by the programmer or by the sequence. So check this out and see you next time for the MA Tips.